I'm Zainab Masters, head nurse practitioner at Queen Victoria Hospital Birmingham, and let me tell you, it's been quite a journey. Day in and day out, I've been working my heart out at the Queen Victoria Hospital in Birmingham. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love my job as a nurse practitioner, helping patients, being there in their time of need, it's all so rewarding. But you know what's been eating at me? The constant cycle of patients coming in, struggling with their health, and sometimes not even willing to make the smallest changes to improve. I've seen it all, the angry outbursts, the frustration, the excuses. It breaks my heart to see people suffering, knowing that there's so much they could do to help themselves. It's like a vicious cycle, and it's been gnawing at me for years. So, I started thinking, what if we could flip the script? What if we could motivate these patients to take charge of their health in a way that speaks to them? And that's when it hit me, a program that rewards them for making healthy choices, for taking my fitness classes, for making those small changes that can have a big impact. Imagine this, patients earn digital currency points for attending my fitness classes. Those points, they're like tickets to a healthier life. They can use them to buy nutritious meals, cooking classes, even fitness gear. It's not about punishment or deprivation anymore, it's about empowerment and reward. I've been working day and night, fine-tuning this plan, getting the hospital on board, and creating partnerships with local businesses to offer those rewards. I'm determined to make a difference, to break that cycle, and to show people that taking care of their health can be a win-win situation. I know it won't be easy, and there will be skeptics along the way. But I can't stand by any longer and watch people suffer when there's a way to help them. I'm Zainab Masters, and I'm ready to shake things up, to challenge the norm, and to lead my patients towards a healthier, happier life. It's time to turn frustration into action, and I'm all in. I am Demi Barr, a nurse practitioner at the Queen Victoria Hospital in Bristol, and my journey has taken an unexpected yet exciting turn. My background in nursing and my fervent passion for fitness have converged in ways I never imagined, all thanks to my dear friend Zainab Masters. Zainab and I have shared a strong bond of friendship and a mutual commitment to making a difference in the lives of those we serve. Our discussions about the healthcare challenges we both witness in our respective cities, Bristol and Birmingham, have often turned into brainstorming sessions for innovative solutions. It was during one of these conversations that the idea of incentivizing patients with digital currency points to attend fitness classes was born. Collaborating with Zainab has been an exhilarating journey of creativity and determination. We've spent countless hours refining our concept, envisioning a program that addresses not only the physical health of our patients but also their overall well-being. Zainab's expertise in fitness and my nursing background have harmonized beautifully creating a comprehensive approach to healthcare that bridges the gap between medical treatment and lifestyle choices. As a certified fitness instructor, I've always believed in the transformative power of regular exercise and healthy habits. Working closely with Zainab, we've developed a program that emphasizes not only the rewards of fitness but also the educational component of living a healthier life. Patients aren't just attending classes, they are gaining valuable knowledge about their bodies and how to care for them. Our collaborative efforts have been a testament to the strength of friendship and shared goals. Zainab's passion for promoting fitness and my dedication to nursing have united to create something truly special. Through our partnership, we're striving to make a meaningful impact on the health and lives of people in both Bristol and Birmingham. I am excited to see our program come to life and witness the positive changes it can bring. As patients start earning digital currency points and making healthier choices, I believe we're paving the way for a healthier future for our cities. Zainab and I are turning our shared vision into reality, combining our strengths to create a comprehensive wellness program that has the potential to transform lives and communities. In the end, it's the power of collaboration and the determination to make a difference that defines our journey. Working with Zainab has shown me that when passion meets purpose, the possibilities are boundless. Together, we're reshaping healthcare, one innovative idea at a time. Your Majesty, 
As we reflect on the remarkable events of 2032, one can't help but ponder, in a time when our healthcare system was gasping for breath, do you still hold to the belief that the nurse takeover was a misguided endeavor? Looking back, with the hindsight of history, how do you reconcile the impact of those nurses who rallied against the odds to resuscitate your royal healing service, and the pivotal role they played in shaping its future? Was it, perhaps, a story of radical change guided by genuine compassion, or simply a fleeting chapter in the ever-turning pages of time? Ah, my dear naive subject, it's quite quaint to see how people can romanticize the actions of the past. While those nurses might have seen themselves as noble saviors, the reality remains that the complexities of running a nation's healthcare system require more than just heartfelt intentions. Yes, my royal healing service was struggling, but one mustn't overlook the challenges that arose from this so-called takeover. A few passionate individuals seizing control hardly equates to a well-thought-out strategy. And as for their compassion, well, one could argue that their actions were a mix of idealism and naivete. As history often reminds us, even the most fervent endeavors can ultimately fade into the annals of time, leaving behind more questions than answers. So, my dear, before you celebrate these nurses as champions, remember that history can be quite the enigmatic storyteller, full of twists and turns that challenge even the most steadfast beliefs. Your Majesty, in your infinite wisdom, you opposed the nurses' takeover of your royal healing service in 2032, a decision that led to the miraculous transformation of our healthcare system. Now, as we revel in the astounding success of BritFit, a program that has not only revitalized our nation's health but also managed to save a staggering £237 billion from your royal healing service budget, I can't help but wonder, were you simply clairvoyant? predicting that the peak of obesity at 51% and your Royal Healing Service budget at £250 billion in 2031 were mere child's play compared to the genius of your strategic misjudgment? Or is it possible that you were just too busy rearranging your jewels to notice that a team of nurses were single-handedly rescuing our healthcare system while you were patting yourself on the back for your regal obstinacy? Truly, Your Majesty, your ability to lead us into darkness with a dismissive wave of your hand is a talent for the ages. Ah, my dear interlocutor, how charming it is to see you basking in the afterglow of hindsight's golden light. As the illustrious monarch I am, my foresight often reaches far beyond the confines of mortal perception. While the masses may have been enticed by the fleeting allure of a nurse-led revolution, I, with my regal vision, knew that such endeavors were but temporary flickers against the canvas of my grand design. The peak of obesity and the soaring royal healing service budget were, indeed, trifles in comparison to the intricate threads of my strategic brilliance. As for Britfit's apparent success, it is only a testament to my unmatched wisdom in fostering an environment where innovation flourishes under the guise of dissent. So do continue to marvel at my masterful orchestration, for my ability to wield destiny itself is but one of the many facets that make me a queen of unparalleled distinction. Ah, your majesty. How deeply humbled we all must be by your towering intellect and foresight that pierces through the veils of time itself. It is, indeed, awe-inspiring to witness your regal brilliance radiating like a supernova, illuminating the cosmos with your unparalleled wisdom. As we ponder the monumental achievements of our nurse-led revolution and the transformation of our healthcare system, I can't help but wonder, were the nurses, those mere mortals, merely pawns in your grand symphony? orchestrated with such audacious strokes of genius that even they themselves were unaware of their pivotal roles? Or perhaps, your majesty, your strategic threads woven with such subtlety that even the hands executing your master plan remained unwitting accomplices? Your self-proclaimed environment of innovation and dissent is indeed a marvel to behold, although one might question if it's innovation or mere survival in the shadow of your grandiosity. But surely, in your enlightened presence, your majesty, all else pales, and we are but dust in the gale of your brilliance. My dear sister Zainab, your attempt at wit and eloquence is, dare I say, charming in its audacity. It seems you have mistaken my profound stewardship for mere orchestration, as if the intricate tapestry of fate itself bends to my whims. While you and your nurse comrades bask in the warm glow of self-congratulation, allow me to remind you that every action, every decision I make is guided by the sacred duty to this nation. Your questions, while draped in sarcasm, are but the echoes of a limited perspective that fails to grasp the multifaceted intricacies of royal governance. 
your valiant efforts, commendable as they are, are but mere ripples in the grand river of history, flowing under the enduring bridges of my rule. So, while you marvel at your accomplishments, remember that the world, as you perceive it, is but a single petal in the vast garden of my dominion. Ah, your majesty, how deeply humbled we all must be by your towering intellect and foresight that pierces through the veils of time itself. It is, indeed, awe-inspiring to witness your regal brilliance radiating like a supernova, illuminating the cosmos with your unparalleled wisdom. As we ponder the monumental achievements of our nurse-led revolution and the transformation of our healthcare system, I can't help but wonder, were the nurses, those mere mortals, merely pawns in your grand symphony, orchestrated with such audacious strokes of genius that even they themselves were unaware of their pivotal roles? Or perhaps, your majesty, 